mind getting older, and, 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 and I hang out with a lot of older people, older than me. As soon as I got 50, they started putting all these rules on me and everything. You know what you gotta do now, right? I'm like, what? You have to get a bucket list. I am extremely intelligent. I never heard of this. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> but I wanted to be politically correct, so I did start one. I don't even have maybe four entries I have on there. That's it. Entry number one, buy yourself a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a bucket. <laughs> Entry number two, don't kick that bucket. <laughs> Number three, I have four children, four, and I've never had a baby shower. I know! <laughs> never had a baby shower, so I'm gonna have one now, and you are all invited to bring things that my grown kids need. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> and this is the big one, don't judge me. But while I'm alive and well and feeling this good, I would like to throw myself a funeral. <laughs> yeah, I want to see who comes. <laughs> and whoever doesn't show up, guess what? They better not die. I'm not coming to yours either. <laughs> but I want to do this. Like, it's your last party. And I just don't like the things that go on at funerals, you know? So I want to do it now and make sure they do it right. Like, don't be saying I'm going home to rest. I hate when they say that at funerals and then they dress you like you're going to a party. <laughs> <laughs> so then I'm going to be there sleeping, dressed like I'm going to a party, and people are going to walk by and go, oh, she looks just like herself. No! <laughs> Put me in my pajamas. <laughs> Turn me on my side, put a pillow under my arm and head. <laughs> now you can say she looks just like herself. Now you can say that. <laughs> yes, indeed. And I feel myself getting older. And people keep telling me, you know, I was on this TV show. And it was a competition. And it ran on NBC for 14 weeks. And on the season finale, guess what happened? Some of the confetti got on me, too. <laughs> I was standing right next to the winner. <laughs> I was catching the confetti. Ah, ah, ah! <laughs> I was so excited to be on that show. And now that it's over, everybody keeps telling me, you know, Nikki, your life is going to change. That's the biggest competition in comedy. Your life is going to change. And I, and I feel like it should hurry up if it's going to happen. You know? <laughs> That was five years ago. <laughs> and I'm getting old. I know I'm getting older. There are signs everywhere. I'm getting cranky. You know, I got an attitude the other day because I'm in a conversation and someone says to me, pardon my French. But they never spoke French. <laughs> things are really starting to get on my nerves. Little things. I'm pumping the gas the other day and I realized the sign says, Replace the nozzle when you're done. <laughs> Why do you have to tell people this? I don't, what was happening before? Were they just leaving it on the ground and then walking away, putting it on top? Like, what were they doing? <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> Different things are happening to my body. Like, I have to urinate too much. I have to go to the bathroom too much. I say too much because if you have to go when you're already going. <laughs> that is too much. 